हेलो एंड वेलकम ऑल माय डियर थर्ड स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रोहन सर फ्रॉम मेहदी इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल आई वेलकम ऑल माय डियर थर्ड स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन इन साइंस लेक्चर डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप दैट टिल नाउ वॉट एवर वॉज गिवन टू यू इन द साइंस लेक्चर यू हैव मेड इट प्रोडक्टिवली एंड यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड ऑल द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ chapter number 10 and the subject of chapter number 10 as well as you know that pdf file of chapter number 10 question answers was kept in the group long back so i hope that everything till chapter 10 is complete not only that but also you might be knowing that we have completed few objective questions till page number 111 from chapter number 11 now we need to continue with the objective of the textbook so that you can complete it in your textbook and in your fair book as well later in the exam you can study that properly so i also hope that in all my lectures you are sitting with your pencil with the books needed and the instructions given from here are followed by you so let us start our day let us see what are we going to do today today we are going to do chapter number 11 light sound and force few objectives we are going to solve which are left we have done the objectives but till page number 111 of the textbook let me say that we have done question a and question b which is fill in the blanks and true or false now we have to continue from choose the correct option which can be asked in the form of mcq circle the correct or circle the odd one this kind of question will also come in the exam so this is also left to be done which is question d on page number 112 anyways i'll be displaying the textbook on the screen so that even if you don't have the textbook at least you can note down the answers yes in the parents teachers meet many students have brought their books for the correction in which i saw that even if they did not have the textbook they have completed every single stuff solved in the lectures so i have really appreciated those students at a time when they came to me with the books i am also looking forward for all the students because if i am giving the lecture here to all the students equally even at your end it should be equally submitted to me so anyways now let us start our day with a wonderful thought thought is as written every morning is a new opportunity do the things to do the things you have missed yesterday so you know sometimes you think at the end when you go to sleep that yes we have missed this thing we need to do this thing so every morning when you wake up just make a goal yesterday i have missed this beautiful thing to be done i will complete it any half today so never be upset from your marks never be upset from the mistakes yes you have to learn from it but never be upset because becoming upset is never a solution this is what this thought means every morning brings the new opportunity for you rather than becoming very much melancholy kind of you should become delighted that you had a new morning and you should start with the new day now my dear students what do you have to do so take out your textbook keep your pencils with you and watch the lecture properly till the end this is what always i request you to do i hope that you are getting ready with all these things if you do not have textbook what you can do is you can note down the answers in your rough notebook and you have the textbook pdf file so later if you want to note down the questions you can jot it down from the pdf file itself which is there in your group
okay i hope that you now are ready with all the books needed for those who are writing in the rough book they will have to give the heading chapter 11 subject science also please write page number if you are writing in the rough book please write even the page number 111 to 112 these two pages we are going to solve today so if you are writing in the rough book you have to mention this page number so that later whenever you will get the textbook at least you will just note it down whatever is written in the rough book later in the textbook okay my dear students now i am going to display the textbook on the screen i hope you are ready to solve the objectives the remaining objectives of chapter 11 with me so my dear students this is chapter number 11 light sound and force which i have explained you very well in the two parts yes the explanation of this chapter was given in two parts in the first part i have only read the chapter and i gave you the hard words for the same and in the second chapter explanation was done this way as always this is my format i use this format to explain you any chapter so that once the reading is done later it becomes easier for you to understand the chapter so my dear students as you know that we have solved a and b questions fill in the blanks and true or false now we have to solve choose the correct option which can be asked in the form of mcq as multiple choice is given for a question so i hope you are ready with the pencils those who are having the textbook they have nothing to do just have to follow the steps i am doing on the screen those who are writing in the rough book they will have to write the question properly question i mean to say is the question heading not each question if you will try to write each question with me you will have less time for that eventually you will not be able to cop up with the lecture so i hope that you are ready now let's get started with question c choose the correct option this will not only get our objectives solved but also you can recall to each and every topic of what we have done in the chapter number 1 which of these is not a source of light options sun glowworm bulb or is it bottle so in short this question asks you that which of these is non luminous object one second do you remember what is non luminous object dear students an object that does not give out the light is called non luminous object as simple as that so which of these object does not give out the light is it sun no sun gives out the light then glowworm no it also gives out the out the light that is why it is known as glowworm bulb definitely it gives out the light uh, every one of you might be having the bulbs at your house what about bottle bottle we use to drink the water never for the light so bottle is the correct answer here because we are asked to choose not a source of the light so bottle i hope that you are also highlighting the correct answer i am highlighting in this way by just putting a square or a rectangle here you can highlight in your way you can just put a tick mark if you want the choice is yours and for those who are writing in the rough book they will have to write answer 1 option d bottle okay number 2 which of these is not true about a shadow it is always black its length is different at the different times of the day it is formed on the opposite side of light it is always short 
so which of these statement is not true is not true that means out of these four three statements are true and one is false statement which is what you have to find so which statement students do you think is not true obviously option d again why because not always shadow is short sometimes it is bigger sometimes it is exactly of our body size or sometimes it is shorter depends on the time and the direction of the light so shadow is always black this is true its length is different in the different time of the day that is also true and it is formed on the opposite side of the light that is also true but it is always short no that is why this is the answer please write the answers properly in your books and mark the answers properly in your textbooks number 3 which of these is an unpleasant sound unpleasant means what the sound which we do not like to listen to correct is it a chirping of a bird is it a sound of a waterfall loud scream of a child or is it sound of a sea waves so which of these sound is unpleasant now if you have thought about the answer let me select the correct answer loud scream of a child so if the child screams loudly or cries loudly we do not like that like to listen to that sound correct chirping of the bird is beautiful sound of the waterfall again it is a natural thing very beautiful we get peace over there sound of a sea waves again we get peace over there this is again the natural sound so these are the sounds which are pleasant but the loud scream of child is not at all pleasant again the laughing and the giggling sound of a small child that is pleasant okay number 4 what are the three things that force can do to an object force can push force can pull force can peel force can friction make a friction what are the three things force can do to an object so here my dear students see the question very carefully what are the three things that force can do so here you have to select three correct options not only one so it is very simple to select force can push or pull and also peel the object it cannot friction the object it can create the friction between two objects but here they have talked about only one object an object okay so push pull and peel i hope that you have also highlighted the answer in the way i have done those who are writing in the rough book they will have to write option a b c push pull peel respectively okay now number 5 which of these is an is an is a pleasant sound pleasant means the sound which we like to hear so bursting of the crackers crying of a baby sound of a wind chim or barking of a dog so which of these sound is pleasant so i hope that you have thought about the answer the correct answer is sound of a wind chim Have you seen the wind chim students it is too pleasant to listen to that sound of wind chim so it is a kind of hanging if i can show you it is a kind of hanging i will draw here you will get an idea and then when the air blows you hang it near the door or the window and when the air blows these pipes strike with each other and this beautiful music or the sound is made that is called wind chim so it is very pleasant sound 
so bursting of the crackers crying of babies barking of the dog these are not the pleasant sound we do not like to hear to this sounds correct okay next page 112 page which of these is a source of a light fire carpet book or table now you have to select any one source of the light which is actually the source of the light source of the light means luminous object in short can we get the fire can we get the light from the table can we get the light from the book or the carpet unless we fit the led in that no we get the light from the fire so fire is the correct answer okay i hope that you have highlighted this correct answer and those who are writing rough book i hope that you are writing it with me number 7 which of these helps us make sound tongue ears eyes or nose obviously here the correct answer is tongue with the help of tongue we can speak without tongue we cannot even speak properly okay number 8 which of these is not true about force so it can make a moving object stop it can make an object move it can change the shape of an object or it can change the color of an object so here option d is correct here option d is correct why because force cannot change the color of an object okay force can do all these three things change the size then stop the object move the object everything could be done but color cannot be changed using force so i hope that now you have solved mcq with me let us move towards question d circle the odd one out in each of the following now here the list of the name of objects are given now here you have to highlight the odd one the word the object which does not match in the list so here the what to say majority wins that is what you do always so here the majority will win and the minority one object will be circled or highlighted so list number 1 loud sound soft sound tongue and noise which is the odd one loud sound soft sound tongue and noise so here tongue is odd one why because loud sound is noise soft sound is what is not given so tongue does not matches here in the list noise matches please select this because you might get the question in the exam that pick out the odd one i know in the google meet you cannot circle or highlight anything but i may ask you the question that pick out the odd one so be prepared for that everything is well said and well explained to you in all the lectures number 2 bell music telephone cry bell music telephone and cry which is the odd one cry because it is done by the human being and all these these three th sounds are of machine bell music and telephone so this is an odd one now number 3 candle carpet chair table so which one is the odd one here try to figure it out that which three things are matching with each other and the fourth one automatically will be eliminated so here if you see students carpet chair table these three things are non luminous object whereas candle is luminous though we have to burn it but it gives out the out the light correct so candle is luminous if compared to carpet chair and table number 4 bag sun stars and bulb now this is very easy one try to solve it bag sun stars bulb which one is the odd one here 
so the correct answer is bag now you might be knowing what is the correct answer bag why it is the correct answer because sun stars and bulb these three are the luminous object but bag is non luminous number 5 bark cry play honk which one is the odd one okay now here you will have to think very genuinely only then you will get the answer so students i will keep this for you in the homework so that let's see how many of you are trying to do it on your own by this trick i will also come to know how many of you are watching the lecture properly and the instructions given in the lecture so when you are sending the homework this should be solved immediately i'll give the answer that whether it is correct or not so with this we have even completed question d now last question for today we will complete is question 2 question a give one word for the following here you have to answer in one word this is what we are going to solve now i hope that you are ready to solve it you will have to think about it again you will have to recall the topics we have understood in the chapter so i hope you all are ready to solve this so let's get started question a given word for the following number 1 objects that do not give off light now for each i will give you 4 to 5 counts till these many counts you will have to write the answer on your own nothing to worry about if you are not capable enough if you are not able to write if you do not know one or two answers it is okay at least try it on your own so i will count 5 till then try to find the answer of number 1 1 2 3 4 and 5 so look at the sentence objects that do not give off the light very simple answer for this is non luminous non luminous is a very simple answer non luminous object means that objects that do not give out the light now number 2 a dark patch that is formed on the ground when an object blocks the path of the light this is also very very well explained to you so your time starts now 1 2 3 4 and 5 i hope you got the answer for this correct answer is shadow shadow is formed when an object blocks the path of the light so that is why on the opposite side of the light shadow is formed i hope that you are even checking your answers because i have seen in the exam you have typed the incorrect spelling and if this particular answer contains one mark i have to cut the mark for the incorrect spelling because it is the answer in one word number 3 loud and unpleasant sound loud and unpleasant sound so what is it called obviously noise n o i s e noise so when you are talking with each other in the class continuously all together your teacher says that stop creating this noise or stop making the noise pin drop silence so these are the words you might have heard you are familiar with okay number 4 a push or pull this is very easy again i'm going to give you five counts 1 2 3 4 
एंड फाइव पुश एंड पुल सो वॉट इज इट इट इज ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ फोर्स इफ यू रिमेंबर स्टूडेंट्स आई गेव यू द एग्जाम्पल वाइल आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द फोर्स दैट वेन एवर यू गो टू एनी होटल रेस्टोरेंट और लाइब्रेरी और एनी वेर द प्लेस वेर द फॉर्मल थिंग्स आर देर एट दैट टाइम यू कैन सी ऑन द हैंडल ऑफ द डोर और एनी वेयर ऑन द डोर पुश एंड पुल इज रिटर्न ऑन ईदर साइड्स ऑफ द गेट ऑन द ईदर साइड्स ऑफ द डोर सो दैट मीन्स इट इज अ फोर्स वेन यू अप्लाई वेन यू पुश समथिंग दैट मीन्स यू अप्लाई द फोर्स टू मेक समथिंग इन द ऑपोजिट डिरेक्शन देन यू वेन यू पुल समथिंग दैट मीन्स अगेन यू अप्लाइंग द फोर्स टू पुल समथिंग टूवर्ड्स यू to make that object near you so this is push and pull now last one a type of force that slows down the movement oh what kind of force it is you will say that sir by applying the force we can speed up something but how can the force slow down something i'll give you five counts try to solve this answer one Two, three, four, and five. So here, the correct answer is friction. Now, by friction, we can slow down the movement. So that's it. now in today's lecture we have solved three questions mcq circle the odd one and give one word in the next lecture perhaps we will get the two examples and question answers perhaps it might be the board on board lecture so be ready with your books even in the next lecture i hope that you will keep sending your work and you will keep sending the thoughts to me So students thank you for watching the lecture have a nice day stay safe stay home